Okay, so in this video, we are going to create a new SAP to integrate WordPress with Twitter. So the idea is that every time we create a new blog post in WordPress, uh, we take that information out of the post and we create a tweet using that. So we're going to make a new SAP. So let's put a name to it. Let's call it WordPress to Twitter. So we are going to select WordPress as the trigger app. Remember that for each of these integrations, we, we need a source application that's going to be the trigger app. And then you need to select an event. In this case, you can select between a new comment or new post. In this case, we are going to select new post. We are going to select an account. We are going to connect a new account, actually. And here we need to enter the blog URL. Let me take it from here. Enter the credentials here, and we click on continue, and here we go. Here we have our new WordPress. This is we can test it here to check that everything is okay. Okay, we can save now and continue. And we can set some other options. So we can say, OK, only trigger this event if the status of the post is published. So we select that. And then we select the post type only as a post. Now we click on Continue. And here we can check our step. Basically, what we are going to be able is to see the last three posts. So here we have all the post metadata. And here we have the, for example, here we have the post content, here we have the name, that is actually the URL, I guess, yes. Um, and some other fields. OK, so we're going to click on Continue. And we are going to add a new step. This step is going to be uh, the integration with Twitter. So let's add an action. And we are going to select Twitter. OK, and the action is going to be create tweet. We're going to press save and continue. We're going to connect to an account. We're going to enter the credentials. I'm already logged in with my account, so I'm going to authorize uh, say Pierre to use my account to publish this tweet. And we are good to go. So I'm going to test just to check that everything is working as expected. So we are good. OK, so I'm going to save and continue. And here, I can actually select from the post, I can select the fields that I want to include in my tweet. So I'm going to select the post title, 
and I'm going to keep it, keep it simple. I'm going to select the link. So I'm going to continue. And I'm going to test this, uh, this step. So I'm going to see my tweets just to uh, check what is the latest one. Okay. So I'm going to send this to Twitter. And I'm going to refresh here to check that the post was actually created. Here we go. Here is the, the post that is actually this Bluehost review. So that's it. So just to just going back and reviewing what we've done. Basically, this is a sub with two steps, one trigger and one action. The trigger is the creation of a new post in WordPress, and the action is the tweet, the creation of a, a tweet by using the uh, post title and the post URL. So let's move to the next video. Thank you.